Okay, we're going to be reading the Canterbury Tales, so I want to get you guys familiar with the pilgrims who are in the Canterbury Tales with this quick review. Here we go. Okay, the knight is the most noble of all the pilgrims. He rides first. He gets to tell the first story. He is very well respected, and he is a perfect knight. His son is riding with him. His son is a perfect squire. He's very studious. Uh, he's very musical and poetic and handsome and young and trained in the military. And women love him. The yeoman is also traveling with the knight and the squire, and he is a perfect woodsman. Also traveling with the pilgrims is the prioress, a high-ranking nun, although she seems to be better educated than your typical nun, and she doesn't care about the poor too much. Uh, she seems more uh, leaning towards romance and, and her pets. This monk is a manly man. He likes to ride horses and go hunting, and uh, he has fur-lined uh, sleeves and wears a gold chain. The friar is a is a member of the clergy, and he dresses like a friar. But other than that, he acts like a good old boy. The merchant dresses real nice and has a forked beard and wears a beaver hat, and he complains about piracy. And he, even though he doesn't look it, he is broke. He's in debt. The Oxford cleric is skinny and has a skinny horse and he spends all his money on books and he is very well read but he can't get a job and make money. The sergeant at law uh, is a well educated in the law, knows every uh, judgment that's ever been made and there's really nothing wrong with him. The Franklin is a wealthy landowner. He has red skin which is a sign of good health. He has a white beard, so he kind of reminds me of Santa Claus, and he is a good, generous man. He's the sheriff of his county. The guildsmen are basically all five of them are uh, part of the emerging middle class. They're all married. They all seek upward uh, status mobility. They would all like to become prominent members of their community. They travel with the cook who seems to be a really good cook. He tells a dirty story in the Canterbury Tales, but we're not going to read that. All you need to know about him is that he knows how to cook and he has a ulcer on his knee, which that probably can't be good. The skipper had to borrow a horse in order to go on this pilgrimage because he spends a lot, most of his life at sea navigating, stealing from other ships, and making his prisoners walk the plank. The doctor is more of an astrologer but he will take your money and he'll give you some suggestions, uh, but really he's just in it for the money. The wife of Bath has been married five times. She likes to make handkerchiefs. Uh, she rides very well, and uh, you don't want to get between her and her man. The parson is actually a minister of a small uh, rural community. He really cares about his followers, his uh, congregation. Uh, the, much the same way a shepherd cares about his sheep. And his brother is going with him on this pilgrimage. He is a humble and God-fearing man as well. The Reeve is a shrewd businessman. He is the manager type. You don't want to be goofing off while he's on detail because he will get you right to work. Uh, he's actually so good with money that the landowner that he works for has to borrow money from him. The miller is a big oaf. He likes dirty jokes, hanging out at pubs, wrestling, hitting things with his head, and he plays the bagpipe. The mansipal works for a university. He buys groceries because college professors aren't smart enough to take care of themselves. What those professors don't know is that he uh, gets bargains and he keeps the money and pockets it for himself. He doesn't know how to read, but he thinks he's smarter than they are. The summoner works for the church. He summons people to the court unless you bribe him. 
he has a really bad breath, pimply skin, he wears a garland on his head, he scares children, he carries around a cake, and he, um, let's see, what else? Oh, he likes to spout out Latin that he picks up while he's at court, but he really doesn't speak it. He travels with the Pardoner. The Pardoner, we already read his story. He has yellow waxy hair. He sells phony relics like pig bones and calls them saint's bones. Um, he likes to sing, and he also takes bribes and works for the church. And then there's the host. Uh, everybody meets at his tabard, and uh, he's the one that comes up with the idea that they take turns telling stories as they ride on their pilgrimage. One thing you may have figured out by listening to this is some members of the clergy are not very godly people. There's the prioress, the monk, the partner, the summoner, and the friar. All care more about themselves than they care about God or the poor or the sick. Whereas people like the parson and his brother the plowman actually do try to follow in the ways of Jesus Christ. Hope this helps and good luck on your quiz.